John Daly Spesh. Really winds us up. I recently had the privilege of playing the Sea Cliff Golf Course in Zanzibar, Tanzania. They came to pick me up in a golf buggy from the five-star hotel next door and took me down to the clubhouse, which is literally on the beach. They even have sun lounges there. So once at the clubhouse, I got myself uh, ready for the game. I uh, rented some clubs there. Here's me examining my driver, which I was quite impressed with. Doing a little practice in the clubhouse. Got myself a new glove. And this is Elias, the golf manager at Seacliff Golf Course. He would be accompanying us today, uh, also playing with us. We got some golf buggies. Golf buggies are uncommon in Tanzania. In fact, I believe this is the only course in Tanzania where you can get them. Uh, they do make uh, playing much cooler as uh, it's pretty hot walking around African golf courses. So the driving range here was by far and away the best driving range in Tanzania. The facilities are excellent. So we had a bit of a warm up and then went to play our round. I'm here at Seacliff Golf Course in Zanzibar, Tanzania. They say this is the best golf course in the whole of Tanzania. This is the test to see if it really holds up to its reputation. What's nice in Tanzania when you're playing golf is that there's never any hurry. There's no group in front of you, there's no group behind you. Not like when we play in Spain, you're always being told to hurry up. In Swahili we say haraka haraka haina baraka, which means being in a hurry has no blessing. So now you're going to watch me hit the greatest drive in Tanzania. Thank you. The, uh, the lie of the land was quite, uh, was quite kind to me and it bounced back onto the fairway here. So I think I'll need to just hit a wood round the corner, chip on and get my birdie on the first. Now, let's take a look at the uh, golf manager. See what he's up to. Now, there'll be no talking in his backswing. I mean, in Tanzania, you can get away with not wearing a collar. <laughs> it's a bit more relaxed here, but shh, let's see his shot. Try to aim for the fairway, that big green thing in the middle. I think he needs to take a drop on this one. They were lovely drives. He just drove them straight into the rough twice. Not the rough, the bush. <laughs> straight into the bush. Come join me at Sea Cliff Golf Course. And right next door is this beautiful resort, uh, Sea Cliff Resort here. Get to experience Zanzibar, and then in the morning you get to run away from the missus and play a game of golf. Yeah, what I like about golf is that there's lots to blame, you see. I've just uh, hit three bad shots in a row, and I am blaming the clubs that I've never used before. My plan is to go through the mango tree. You know they say trees are 70% air. Okay, I'm gonna have to redeem myself here with the most amazing shot onto the green. Ah, uh, how was that redemption? How was that redemption? Heavy VP. What's going on with my golf? I don't play this way. Stop. Sit, sit, sit. Didn't sit. It's quite a good chip, eh? Well, after all that, I realized that it's straight. Now, here's another benefit of, uh, thank you very much. The benefit of playing golf in Africa is you always, they always give you a caddy who knows exactly what he's doing. And he will tell me that this is a straight putt. Here's my straight putt. Get in, get in. It was the dew, it was the morning dew. I'm having that, I'm having that for what, an eight? Is that an eight or a nine? One, two, three, four, eight. That, not the best start. Triple bogey isn't the best start. But I'm here in Africa playing golf. Basically, you know, getting some, a break from the family. You know, that's what golf's all about. Having a little break, you can come here with your mates, have a good time. Mm 
maisha furahi ya ruka ruka sherekea hii ni fujo dance didn't seem to help very much anyway so I'm buying the coconut water on number nine the coconut water basically is a young coconut they cut open for you and this sweet sweet water it's like you're on a desert island and stuff so um, apparently I'm paying for them but they're only about uh, 40 cents so I'm sure I can manage it oh, well done you. well done <laughs> The beauty of this course is that there are palm trees left, right and centre. I always like playing with palm trees on the course. Here at Seacliff I'm on hole number Seven, which is a par four, 305 meters. Now, meters, I'm used to yards here. And when anyone, anything, any par four is near a 300 yards, obviously I want to drive the green, okay? And so 305 meters, yeah, I can drive that green. The problem is when you go for those big, big drives to drive the green, the old slice comes in. Now that wouldn't normally be a problem here because there is a 400 yard wide bunker, as in the beach, except today, this morning, there's high tides in, you know, so uh, that's penalty. But, you know, what's the point of playing golf if you don't go for those greens on the short par fours? I don't play this laying up golf. I absolutely smash the ball and slice it into the sea. The old John Daly spesh. I've got his trousers on. I don't know why you do a practice shot when your practice shot's good, so good. Here we go. John Daly Spesh. Look, the stroke was good. Unfortunately, that was a hook. My friends call it the Hobbit hook because I'm short. Yeah, just don't call it the Hobbit hook. And if you've got mates that are slightly shorter than you, when they hook, call it the Hobbit hook because it really winds us up. Uh, we had to wait for the horses to pass. There's a horse riding on here as well. Horse riding in the morning. That sounds almost as good as this. On the green for my birdie putt. <clears throat> Not really on the green. Ah, uh, we'll call it the apron. I'll call that the apron. Well, I'll give you I'll give you yours if you give me mine. Eh? Circle, put a circle around that one. That's a birdie, circle it. And then, what's that 11? It's been a pleasure being here at Seacliff with you. We're on the hole number nine, which is the most beautiful par three. It's like a downward par three with all those bunkers. And if you overshoot, you get into the real bunker, which is the beach. That's what I'm hoping to do. Here we go, close to the pin. Takes the 10. Oh, now apron. Apron, eh? Apron, no, it doesn't count. Apron doesn't count me, no. All he has to do is make it onto the green. Why did he tell me to take a nine? 135 meters, 150, nine is the right one. I just hit it badly. What can I tell you? Well, that's a beauty. Eh. Take the 10,000, buddy. Well on. Yep. Well on. Yeah. I almost don't know.
Ah, short. I'll just finish my, uh, finish my part. I can't hear the nice part. No more semi nice part. Nice, nice. Good game. Thank you. Oh, we take our hats off, do we? Yeah. Ah, it's etiquette. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks for the game. What a game. So in my assessment as to whether Sea Cliff is the best course in Tanzania, well, in terms of top level international standard golf courses, there is another one in Tanzania. Kili Golf near Arusha under the mighty Mount Kilimanjaro. So let me judge the courses on a number of categories. Number one, location. Kili Golf, you can see the mountains, but they're often covered in clouds. For me, Seacliff has a distinct beach feel with the palm trees and sea breeze. Seacliff wins this category. Number two, facilities. Seacliff wins without competition. Although it's been a few years since I've been to Kili Golf, the driving range, the buggies, and the clubhouse at Seacliff win over Kili Golf. Number three, the quality of the course. Killy Golf wins this one. The fairways and the greens and indeed the design of Killy Golf beat Seacliff. Killy Golf has undulating fairways, immaculate greens, and there is constant weeding on the course. Seacliff unfortunately had some bald spots on the greens and some of the fairways were water damaged. Furthermore, Seacliff is a nine hole course with 18 tee boxes, whilst Killy Golf is a full 18 hole course. So I am giving a tied first between Seacliff and Killy Golf, but that is pending a video assessment of Killy Golf next time I travel up to Northern Tanzania. But really it's up to you. Come play Zanzibar, then go on to Killy Golf for your golfing holiday in Tanzania. As an ambassador for tourism in Tanzania, I warmly welcome you to come and visit with your golf buddies. It has been a pleasure to have you with me on my round. And I would like to thank Alan and Elias at Seacliff Golf Course for the free round and free nights at Seacliff Hotel. And also to thank Asas Milk for the flights to Zanzibar. This is Bongo Zorza reporting from Seacliff Golf Course in Zanzibar, Tanzania. <laughs> Uh, I like to get up to 40Ks on these things. I have been banned. There's a register around the whole country that has banned me from using cat air golf cars. So now, the competition is if you hit the bad bunches. Yeah, when it gets to 10, you put down 10. I've never seen 11 on the school bus. I hit it. It wasn't all that impressive. I thought it hit right at the top, but uh, the line was good. Like my uh, golf game, the line's always good. The distance is always wrong. But I'm here in Africa playing golf. You know they say trees are 70% air. 